what's up family and welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here thank you for stopping by welcome welcome um and if you are returning like hey family take your shoes off you know the deal my refrigerator is your refrigerator make yourself at home so um it is my first paycheck of march and we will be budgeting that accordingly but i'm going to start with this new envelope we will be stuffing i am participating in the march madness budget edition i saw it like on everybody's channel so i was like why not i'm not doing any like real budgeting challenges this year especially since it's like my first time like getting serious about budgeting so this one seemed like an easy one just to ease myself into doing a challenge so we will be stuffing this March Madness envelope, and I'm actually kind of excited about that, especially for what the money is going towards. But okay, I have my uh, budget by paycheck planner here so that I make sure that I stuff everything accordingly. I have my peach tea here. I have my champagne toast candle, which I feel like is just the best Bath and Body Works scent ever. Like, I love it so much. So, that is the vibe today. All right, but let's get into stuffing these envelopes. So first, as usual, we always start with my everyday category. Let's sit that to the side, which is gas, grocery, self-care, and household. Move you up a little bit out of the way. So, last stuffing, I added less to gas to see if like I could get a buy on less money in gas, and the answer is no. There's $10 left in gas, but listen, my gas tank right now is like two notches away from E, and I just kept forgetting to take this outside and put it in my glove box so that I could use it at the gas station, so I definitely need every bit of money <laughs> for gas so we're going back to what I normally use which was $30 so three tens so 10 20 30 and we're just going to put that in gas along with this 10 because when I say it's going to take about $30 just to fill my tank. It's going to take about $30 just to fill my tank. So, we now have $40 in gas. Sit this to the side since that is done. And I've already updated my trackers before because I don't want the video to be super long. So, grocery also. I tried doing it with less money last paycheck and... Again, it was a no. So we're going back to our usual 60. And I mean, I probably could do it like grocery with less money, but my Rugrats needed snacks for school and I went to Sam's to get it thinking like, oh, it'll be cheaper, I'm getting it in bulk. But it was not. <laughs> It was not at all. And it was actually, it took everything. I think I put $35 in here last paycheck. And when I left Sam's, there was only like $2 and some change left in this envelope. But I already put that into my uh, savings jar. So, yeah. Or maybe I just don't need to like grocery shop at Sam's. Maybe that was the issue and it was just too expensive. But I don't know. It took everything. Alright, now self-care. We have that as getting 30 and that is just a 20 and a 10. Yes, 20 and a 10. Alright, we'll put that in there. And then household is getting 25. And 
is a 20 and a 5. Just had to double check. Okay. So. I think the next time I do, I have to print out these trackers. I'm going to get them laminated because they like rip and just get all wrinkled. And I feel like it would just make life easier. So. Everyday category is stuffed. And honestly, I probably should leave gas out so I can just put it in my glove box. All right. So now we are moving on to our prep and landing category. Which is miscellaneous. Tom Tom, Theo, Back to School, and Beauty. So I guess we'll start backwards. <laughs> Beauty gets 30. And if you guys hear the music in the background, I live on a military base and that music means that it is 6.30 and they wake everybody up. And pretty soon you're gonna hear the cannons go off. Like it's a whole, a whole thing. All right, so Beauty is getting 30, which is a 20 and a 10. Like it, every morning, it's that same routine. Uh, I try to get up and do my videos early while everybody in my house is still sleeping but I forgot about the music. Okay, and so back to school. Yeah, it's, it's usual 40, which is 220s. I just realized I haven't even been counting what I now have in my envelopes. Okay, so and back to school, two, four, six, eight, 100, two, four, six, eight, 200, two, four. So in back to school, we now have $240. And okay, and we will sit back to school to the side. And then in beauty, sorry. 10, 20, 40. So there is now $40 in beauty. All right, my bad y'all. Okay, so for Tom, Tom and Theo, they each get their usual 10, which is two fives. Oh no, and I pick up a 10, as I say two fives. Oh. Okay, so they both should have the same amount in their envelopes because I give them the same thing each, every paycheck. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. All right, so they now have $60 in their envelopes. And I have to say, I, at first I didn't really know what I was saving this money for. I didn't know if it was gonna be like for allowance or whatnot, but their dad has been talking about going back to school himself and using his uh, GI Bill, so. I'm thinking these are now like turning into college funds or if they decide not to go to college and they just want to go to like trade school and go towards paying for that or you know helping them with their make the down payment on like their first house or something so that's what this is going to be there at the boys envelopes it's 
coming clear to me now <laughs> what the money is going to be used for. So um, now moving on to miscellaneous, which is getting 15. And there is still money left in miscellaneous. We have 25 left in miscellaneous. So So we have 10, 20, 30, 5, 40. So now $40 is in miscellaneous. $40 is now in miscellaneous. And that is the end of our prep and landing. Okay, so now we are moving into long term, which is retirement, new car, new house. So retirement is getting 55. You know, Abe is always being difficult. Always being difficult. Okay, so now in retirement we have 50, 150, 250, 60, 5, 75. So 275 is now in retirement, which actually is not totally accurate because. I deposited $50 into my retirement savings account in the last cash stuffing video, which I will link up here. And so there's already $50 in the bank. So I wish I had a calculator out. So 50 plus 275, I believe is what? 325 yes I think so so I think that's 325 so that means that I have reached my $300 threshold for this account so I can deposit this money into the bank and we'll just start over again with collecting money in retirement so every time I hit $300 in an envelope I'll be taking the cash out and putting it in the bank and starting over. So yay, excited about that. All right, so retirement will sit you there. Uh, new car is getting 30, 20 and a 10. So that brings us to 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So $170 is in new car, but also in the last um, cash stuffing, I deposited $25 into new car. So 70, 80, 90. So now I have 195 in new car. So I'm definitely not gonna do that anymore. Like I'm like depositing money in the bank as I'm still stuffing cash because it gets confusing. So confusing. Definitely gonna wait until I hit 300 before money starts going in the bank. Okay. So new house also gets 30. All right, and so for new house, we have 50, 100. I don't like, they're like going different directions. So 50. 100, 
Why did you do that, Drea? 120, 40, 50, 60. All right, so new house has 160 in cash, and then in the bank, I deposited $20, so it actually has 180. So that brings us to the end of long term. Now we're going into our final category, which is build. My emergency fund, car maintenance, travel, and business. So emergency fund is getting 50. And there's already 50 in the bank for emergency per last cash stuffing. So 50 in the bank, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 10, 15. So 315 is now an emergency. So this money will also be going to the bank to be deposited. Yay, oh, wait, wait a minute. 320. Left money in there. Okay, so 320 is an emergency fund. This is going to the bank. Uh, car maintenance is also getting 50. And y'all, I still have not gone to go get an oil change. All right, I need to go do that. So 50, 100, 50, 200, 50. Then I also have a 50 in the bank, so 320. So we have $320 in car maintenance. This money will be going to the bank as well. Now getting into travel, which is getting 40, and that is just 220s. I have more 20s than I have remaining envelopes. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? What did I do? Okay. So now in travel, we have 2, 4, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. One, two, three, four. So we have $104 in travel, which update on travel, like you guys know all my holiday plans about, you know, how I want to go to Orlando to go to Universal to finally see the Harry Potter park and how I wanted to go to Antigua over the summer, but I think our travel plans will be changing and I won't be doing any of that, but rather going on like a trip, a family vacation, taking my boy somewhere. But we will get into that a little later. So this money is gonna go to something else. We still have to get passports and stuff, so I don't know if I'm gonna touch this for that, but travel plans have changed. So, I'm going to put travel to the side. And now business, that is getting 25. So, two tens and a five. All right. So, bam, it's actually time for me to renew my business license. So, that's what this money is going towards. Um, so yay, we have done all of our envelopes. 
but something oh yes there we go i realized what i did y'all time to break out the other budget binder that's where all this other money is coming from because i was so confused like why do i have so much left But okay, so that is done. Leaving gas out to go put in my glove box. So now we are getting into my other binder. And this is birthdays, Christmas, and Black Friday. So starting with birthdays. Birthdays is getting $30, which is these three tens, I believe. Yes, 10, 20, 30. And left in birthdays, we have $10. So birthdays will now have 40. And my Rugrats birthday is next month, April 3rd. It's gonna be turning nine. Oh my goodness, they grow up so fast. But I'm not even going to lie. I'm so excited that they grow up so fast. <laughs> um, then Christmas is getting $20. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my Rugrats. But, man. They make it their mission to just irk my last good nerve. All right, so Christmas has $10 left in it, so now it has 30. Black Friday is also getting 20. Yet I still have money left. So Black Friday also has a 10 left in it, so with this 20, it will now have 30. Okay, so this budget binder done. So now we're getting into March Madness. Okay, so I budgeted $50 to go into March Madness. So I know this belongs in here. And I'll try to uh, put the terms of the March Madness challenge in the description box below, but I believe it's like you pick an amount that you want to um, save and stuff into this envelope. And every Saturday, you add that same amount or like a different amount or whatever works for your budget, boo. You know what you got to do. Okay, you know what your pockets look like. You know what your check look like. So whatever you can save into this envelope, you save it and you put it in there every Saturday. And then at the end of the month, you count what you saved for your grand total. So you can put that money towards like a sinking fund, um, debt, savings, so anything that you wanna put it towards, that's what it's gonna go to. So I kinda, I'm putting, I think I hear my kids up, so I don't wanna say exactly what I'm putting it towards. Instead, I'll write it down here of what it's going towards just because I feel like they're up and I don't want them to hear me. But this is going to be um, being added to towards travel. For what I do have planned, it won't be until 2022 that we will be doing that. Um, the thing that I wrote down here. <laughs> but um, I want to put this towards the deposit for getting everything started. And then, you know, you pay on it monthly which I love that it has like a little payment plan so I don't have to stress myself out about it because I thought about it. The amount of money that we I would be spending to go to like another place like Orlando or to Antigua for the summer like with hotels and with airfare and then doing like all the little things on the island or at the parks. I could just, all of that is pretty much included in the place that I plan on taking them to. So 
I can just put the money towards this and have a payment plan to where I don't have to like rush and break my back to make it happen. So $50 is now in March Madness. But that still leaves us with two 20s. And I don't know where they come from. So hold on. Let me add up my math and stuff and see what I did wrong. Check my envelopes. So, okay, I'm back. So I discovered what I did wrong. I, when I went to the bank, I was supposed to take out eight $5 bills, 13 $10 bills, 14 $20 bills, and four 50s. But instead, I took out, which was supposed to equal $650 if I took out what I was supposed to. But for some reason, I counted uh, my, uh, this budget binder, I counted Black Friday and Christmas. No, not Christmas. Yeah. I counted Black Friday and Christmas twice. So instead of taking out $650, I took out $690. So... This is where these two 20s come, came from. Um, but I like checked my bank account. I don't need to put this money back because in addition to my paycheck, I you guys remember in one of my vlogs for Christmas, I had ordered um, some stuff from H&M. Well, baby, that was in December and they still have yet to send me my stuff. So I called them like, either give me my money or give me my merchandise so they gave me a refund so that refund hit my account and also um, I had a thing with my old car insurance company I don't even feel like talking about them anymore because they're a headache and a half so they ended up reimbursing me some money so at the end of the day <laughs> I don't need to put this money back in the bank so I can leave it out. So now I can put it in an envelope, but where should it go? So, um, so how about we put this in March Madness. So instead of 50, we have now stuffed 70 into March Madness. All right. And this 20, um, I honestly need to go get my hair done. So I found a person on Facebook who like she specializes in dreadlocks, but from her picture, she seems to do good work with natural hair. So put this 20 into beauty. So that now brings our beauty total to two, four, 50, 60. All right, so we now have $60 in beauty. Cause I need to get my ends clipped so bad. Like it has been a year since I've had my ends clipped, a year. Because the last time I did it, I got a blowout and I just felt like it was so much heat that they put on my hair that my curl pattern didn't recuperate for like six months. I couldn't see it, recognize it, none of that. So, now we'll just put you in the front. So yeah, I barely drank my tea. It's probably all cold by now. So that brings us to the end of this cash stuffing, guys. Thank you so much for watching all this year. We are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and making it happen for ourselves. So please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. If you know budgeting is your thing, if watching my crazy family and our life is your thing, Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye. Can I take you there?